Well, it's damaged, but I fixed worse. Come on, maybe there's someone in town who can help us. All right, guys, dude, long couch here, longest of the couches. Welcome back to Ratchet Wait and Clank. Second. Is that rare titanium? Maybe we should upgrade our weapons first. What? What is he talking about? Okay, I'm not sure what's going on, but here's a vendor. Okay, here we go. To fill the health and ammo, it's 90 bolts. For... Oh, this is... Don't look at tutorial. Uh, upgrades. Okay. You're gonna need rare titanium for this stuff, but we'll use some of mine for now. Oh, that's very kind of you. See, this hypothetical weapon was designed to help Gadgetron vendor operators show customers how to spend rare titanium on upgrades. Okay. All you gotta do is pick one of them cells. Press X to begin an upgrade chain. Are these things chained together. Go ahead and fill out the whole chain. What the fuck is going on? Confirm the transaction and the deal's done. Mystery upgrade unlocked. Damage. Makes your weapon hurt more. More pain, more gain. Hey, you surrounded a mystery cluster. Now that's gonna give you a big boost. So am I to understand that you don't actually know what you're buying when you get this stuff? That's all there is to it. Give it a spin on one of your own. Okay, I gotta try this on... <laughs> one of my own, because I'm not sure I followed that 100%. So we start with the Combustor Level 1. This blaster fires burning balls of plasma, does light damage, but has a deep ammo pool, and is a good fallback weapon for any situation. Okay. If we come here, we have an ammo upgrade. Don't you hate it when you can't shoot anymore? Get more ammo. Up top is Rate of Fire. Overwhelms enemies by sending shots their way even faster. Ideally, I would like to buy both of those right now. Uh, does it tell me the cost? You just keep going. No, you have to. You do have to buy it first. Okay. Well, first off, let's buy rate of fire. Total cost one. Oh, I see. You're filling out like the whole tree as you go. Okay. Make sure you want to spend rare titanium to upgrade this weapon. This is a really weird way to do this. That's how you make a great weapon even better. Okay, so... How do you know where it ends, then, if you just keep going the whole way around? So the ammo upgrade takes two. No, it says plus two on it. Maybe that's talking about the amount of ammo it upgrades? Sure, you want to spend rare titanium to upgrade this? How, why is it stopping right there? What's what's the mechanism by which it knows? I gotta be honest with you guys. I am not a hundred percent clear on how this is working. This is really really weird. <laughs> I guess we'll just buy. Well, actually, let's take a look at the fusion grenade. See what we can do for that. Maybe this will be a little bit more clear. So area of effect. Another ammo upgrade, and then another area of effect. They're both 10%. It seems like the only way you can know how much it costs is to click on it. Maybe they're all one. But then as soon as... No, no that's, not, that's not true. Because... The first one is one, but then when we come up here... Oh, I see. It's because it chained all of them together because I went up and then down to this one. That's why it was three. Okay, I think I'm kind of sort of getting this in a way. <laughs> it's still really weird. 
All right, well, let's get one more ammo upgrade. And then... I'm not even sure what I want to do with this. I guess let's do... Let's do the ammo upgrade. And then two more area of effects, and that'll fill out this tree going upwards. So that was all done with rare titanium. We didn't spend any bolts on that. Weird. I guess the bolts are just used to purchase new things, like the pyro cider, which is 2,000. Fires a stream of burning pyrocytic fluid, great for keeping touchy-feely enemies out of your personal space. Got a proton drum. Deploy a supermassive pseudo atom that regularly emanates a wide disk of damaging subatomic energy. That sounds pretty badass. And then the bouncer. Uh, launch an omni grenade that releases a bundle of magnet bouncers that are drawn towards enemies. So this is only a hundred bolts, and I think that's because I actually got this as a bonus uh, pre-order thing for pre-ordering the game from Amazon. And I'm pretty happy about that, because if I remember correctly, the Bouncer was one of my favorite weapons in the old games. So, I'm definitely going to grab that right now. And I don't think I could buy the Pyrocider. I don't think I'm going to buy it right now. I, I kind of want to hold out for this Proton Drum, because that sounds pretty badass. And it probably won't be too long. I don't have enough to get that. Alright. We're going to keep working with those upgrades, uh, and uh, see... <laughs> I, I hope that as we go along, it'll become a little bit more clear what the hell's going on with those. That was that was really strange. I wasn't expecting something like that. But it's all good. So now we've got the bouncer, the fusion grenade, and the combustor. I'm gonna try out this guy. First chance we get. I do wish that... Uh, okay, I do have a quick select. Good. If I use the D-pad, I've got all three of my weapons on quick select. I guess you can only have four at a time, probably. That's probably all we'll need. I don't know if Ratchet can swim. Let's test it out. Hey, all check that out, yeah. Our intrepid Lombax delves the depths of the uh, deep goodness. And he can dive, too. That's awesome. Got an oxygen meter. All right. Those controls work pretty well. I like that. What might this be? Search the caves for hidden treasure. I like hidden treasure, guys. What are these things? They appear to be amoeboids. According to my data, yeah. they were created by Drek Industries in order to assist the war bots. Check that out, man. The bouncer is fucking awesome. Oh, I'm so glad that that's just as good as it always was. I'm gonna use this gun all the time. Alright, let's make sure we explore everywhere under here. Can we go back underneath where we were? Nope. I don't know if I'm going to have enough air to do this, but here we go. Oh yeah, it wasn't that long at all. Of course, Ratchet knew we'd have to surface to breathe. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> That's an instant death when that happens to you. I kind of figured your health would like slowly drain down, like in most video games. But negative. Here's the cool part. You guys may notice. My bouncer kept the uh, XP that it got from the first time I used it on these guys. So theoretically, it should be pretty easy to grind out levels for your weapons. If you want to go that route of just cheesing it. <laughs> But now I know that the oxygen meter doesn't fuck around. You reach 0%, and, uh, that's all she wrote. Try as he might, 
Ratchet could not breathe underwater. More bad guys. Get ready. Bring it. Wow, really? None of that hit him? <laughs> That's a little more like it. Yo, look at all these bros. Get out of here. Alright, I'm out of bouncer ammo. Oh, you can swap when you're in uh, aim mode. That's good. One thing I should probably test is if my weapons can harm me. Ah, it didn't seem to hurt all that much. Yeah, I think we're good. Look at this. There's a box here that I do not seem able to break. Oh, look at this guy. He got stuck back here. Whoa. Why? Keeps pulling my aim to the left. What is it? Are you guys seeing this? I'm right on him, and it won't work. <laughs> All enemies clear. Well done. That was dumb. I think that must have been a glitch. Hello. Almost at 3,600 bolts, which means very soon we'll have enough for that new gun. Where is it bringing me out? Did we just wrap around? What the hell was the point of this place? I didn't really get anything from it other than, you know, some bolts. And I guess I got a card pack. Weird. Alright, well, well, we're definitely going to keep up on these cards, so let's take a look at what we got. Blaster and Proton Drum. Okay, I wonder what we get when we trade in five duplicate cards. Probably just another pack to open, right? I don't know. If we look at our collection stats, we've got zero sets, no stat bonuses. Collection's pretty terrible right now. <laughs> There's something called Rhino cards. So the Rhino is kind of like the ultimate weapon in all the Ratchet and Clank games. It stands for Rip Ya a New One, and it's kind of like a staple. It's always like a really hard to get gun, but it just fucking destroys everything. And I'm excited that it's back in this game. Um, I don't know how I see if I have any new packs to unlock. I guess I don't. I guess it would tell me. Alright. Well, let's get started on this, uh, planet proper. What you guys say? What's up here? Find someone to help you repair your ship. Okay. Oh, shit. Look at the way this thing glows. Oh, I fell into the water. <laughs> are we supposed to go up there or are we supposed to come down here? Whoa, that is a lot of bad guys. Sure is. Defend the planet. Alright. Ow. Wow, that dude's really accurate. Okay, I better watch my ass. Oh boy, out of ammo. Ah, uh, that's cool. I actually got a like an indicator on my screen. <laughs> Fuck. 
Someone was sniping me while I'm trying to loot. You bastards. Oh, there's another guy over here. I really enjoy the range on that thing. It's very useful. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. No. Dude, get away. Holy shit, dude. They just... They just stun-locked me. <laughs> That's literally what just happened. I got stun-locked in Ratchet and Clank. Wow, that bouncer shot did not go as far as the arc told me it would go. But it looks like the bouncer balls already seek targets, even though this hasn't been upgraded at all, so... Yay for that. Oh, and we now have 4,000 bolts. Okay. Let me just, uh... Make sure I didn't miss anything down here, other than all the stuff in front of me. There's a ledge up there. Alright, we're gonna go back up and buy that other thing real quick. And maybe actually go up that other direction. I kind of want to see what's up that tunnel. Whoa, that is a lot of bad guys. All right, the proton drum. Again, deploy a supermassive pseudo atom that regularly emanates a wide disk of damaging subatomic energy. I really don't know like what that means, but it sounds awesome. Are you sure you want to exchange bolts for this awesome weapon? Why is the raritanium glowing? Does this cost, like, the 4,000 bolts plus three raritanium? Because, do I even have that? Uh, apparently I do. Oh, I guess it was just flashing because it wanted me to come in and upgrade shit. Alright. Well, the proton drum has weapon stats of... Uh, holo cards? Shake down enemies for even more hollow cards. Really? Duration and area of effect. Okay. Uh, I do like the duration upgrades. Let's like grab one of each for this thing. Well, yeah, but I want to go up and buy the last one too. It's really weird how, like, it just, it seems to randomly stop on certain upgrades and then ask you if you want to spend it. I really don't understand how it works. Whatever. We'll figure it out eventually. Alright, now we're pimped out, guys. Where am I going? I'm going this way. Attention, Regarding your invasion of this sector, I don't want to suggest that you are avoiding us, but just in case you didn't huh? check your message, there are quite a few waiting for you. I don't know who that dude's talking to. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna come out down there in that uh, sewer drain at some point. All right, so we have the quick select, but it's probably best to use this in a lot of situations because it does pause the action. So you don't end up getting your ass kicked while you're trying to equip other things. And it looks like it did automatically equip all the stuff I have so far. So that's good. Oh, can I wall jump yet? I can. Seriously, what's with all the jumping? That's awesome. What else is up here? Oh. Aha! The hell was that? I wish it would actually, like, let you look at the stuff you just unlocked instead of just immediately throwing it into your whole collection. Praetorian Omni Wrench. Standard wrench used by the Longback's Praetorian Guard. All purpose tool. First seen in a crack in time. Okay. 
Uh, Proton Drum is a new weapon to this game. What else did we unlock? The Blaster, that was <laughs> the original laser weapon in the first game. Alright, I'm still not sure why we're unlocking those. Like, what kind of stuff that gets you. But we'll keep going for them, by all means. Whoa. Ow. Okay. So that just is like a ball of destruction and death, but it only works in like a little radius area. So we'll use that when we have a good opportunity for it to do some real damage. Back? Get out of here, man. Shoot that space rat. Who are you calling a space rat? It's a shitty thing to say. Oh, that was a fail. Oh, they came back up! Yes! The bouncer! The bouncer rules! Best gun ever. I'm not kidding when I say that like, that's one of the guns that I remember from the old games. I want to say it was Up Your Arsenal, which was the third game they made on PS2. Uh, I think it was in that game, and it was like one of my favorites. Like I just remember it kicking ass once you got it upgraded. Oh shit. This dude was waiting back here to ambush me. Joke's on him, though. Trying to keep an eye out for things in the environment to collect hidden items. These games are pretty cleverly designed. You really could find that kind of stuff anywhere. Oh, I see. I gotta... Whoa, it didn't stay? Oh, they're moving. Okay. I thought I was gonna have to, like, leave it at a certain position. But nope. Nope. There were a lot of upgrades in the old games that gave you, like, different mobility things. Holy Jesus. Alright, what's a good weapon for these guys? Probably... Probably this. Yeah! Oh, that's so good. It's almost like a disco ball. Which reminds me, <laughs> one of the weapons in the old games was a disco ball that made the enemies dance. And then you could just, like pick them off while they were dancing. Uncharted! He's darn blarg have jammed the transmission! Who's gonna save us now? 